Welcome to a special edition of Queer Network News from Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles, California. My name is Justin Gerhardt. Alexandra Billings, who portrays Davina on Amazon's Transparent, was joined by Laverne Cox, Chaz Bono, Brian Michaels, Jennifer Richards, and Trace Lissette for Variety's first Transgender Actors Roundtable discussion this past month. It was a powerful conversation that covered everything from Hollywood, President Trump, the newly popular FX show Pose, Caitlyn Jenner, Scarlett Johansson, and whether or not cisgender actors should play transgender roles. Click on the link in the description to watch the full episode on YouTube. On to our next tidbit, lesbian, Native American, and former professional mixed martial arts fighter Sharice Davids just won the Democratic nomination for a House seat in Kansas last Tuesday, joining the many potentially history-making candidates in the 2018 midterms. It's 2018, and women, Native Americans, gay people, the unemployed and underemployed have to fight like hell just to survive. And it's clear, Trump and the Republicans in Washington don't give a damn about anyone like me or anyone that doesn't think like them. Enough. That's why I'm running for Congress. And one thing's for sure, I won't back down. Because progress is undefeated. We just need to fight for it. Are you ready? If elected in November, she'd become the first openly queer member of Congress from Kansas and the first Native American woman to serve in Congress. She'll be campaigning against the anti-LGBTQ incumbent Kevin Yoder in a race considered pivotal to the winning of a pro-equality majority in the U.S. Congress. Hillary Clinton won this district in 2016, and Democrats consider it one of the key pickup opportunities for this cycle. And on to our final tidbit. The Trump administration is being forced by federal judge A. David Copperteeth to overturn all materials used in making decisions to ban transgender people from serving in the military. The ruling stems from Stone versus Trump, an American Civil Liberties Union case, on behalf of a dozen transgender service members wanting to enlist. In his decision, Coverteeth noted transgender people had been admitted to the military during the Obama administration only after extensive study, and that it's hard for the courts to believe the circumstances regarding readiness and deployability have changed so dramatically since that time. So far, seven courts have already ruled against the transgender military ban. What do you think is going to happen? And will Trump finally be forced to justify his July 2017 tweets barring transgender people from serving in the military? Comment below. Lastly, I want to give a big shout out to Nicholas Swatz, founder of Baby Pomegranate Productions in Chicago, for the release of Making Masculine, a documentary that I'm honored to be a part of, which sheds light on the constructs of masculinity and the pressure that society places on all of us to fit into a heteronormative culture. Director of the project, Nicholas turns the camera on himself as well as Dakota Conduct, a Chicago-based drag queen, Farah Ali, a clinical psychologist, and myself to help explain the pride all queer people must possess in order to be unapologetically themselves every day. Click on the link in the description to watch the full documentary on Vimeo. That's all for this week, and make sure you tune in for Queer from the Couch featuring 13-year-old Ava from California, who talks about what it was like to come out as a lesbian at such a young age. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date on all the Queer Network's new content. We'll see you next week. I'm off to the Ferris wheel. See you later. Are you coming? It's going too fast. That's what's happening. I can't keep up. Now it's going too slow. Why? One more time. One more time.